Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, I'm back again with another Sriracha review. Just love some good Sriracha. And I'm telling you, this is one of the best that you can find out there if you want gourmet Sriracha. And this is JoJo's Sriracha. And this is not just her regular batches. This is a very special um, partnership that she's uh, doing with Ravenswood Wine. So this is a wine-infused uh, Sriracha. And this is the uh, Ravenswood Petite Syrah chili sauce. Now this is a, uh, a joint collaboration, a partnership with uh, Mr. Joel Peterson. He is the uh, founding winemaker of Ravenswood Wine. I just love those wines. Uh, check out my review for the other one I did on the Zinfandel, Ravenswood Zinfandel, uh, infused uh, into Jojo Sriracha. Very good, just awesome. But this one is with the Petite Syrah. And let me go ahead and read here on the side. It says, you're holding something one of a kind, decidingly unpetite and spicy. This is the first ever wine-infused sriracha made with Ravenswood Petite Syrah. Made with wine from us to you. And a sign there by Joel Peterson and love from JoJo. Now, this was sent to me from the owner of uh, JoJo's Sriracha, Jolene Collins. She was based in Brooklyn, New York uh, with her company, um, and she did change the name. It's called Love Heart Inc. Uh, right now. And she did uh, move back to Denver, uh, where it really all started for her with her srirachas. Let me go ahead and read the ingredients before we get into this and talk about it a little bit. But we start off with chili peppers. Um, I believe that these are Fresno peppers, uh, red Fresno peppers that she's using in her uh, wine-infused srirachas. So they're a little bit more on the milder side. She makes a lot hotter ones uh, with, with habaneros. And uh, she really does some different type of batches, special batches. So she just loves using uh, unique uh, chili peppers. She loves the flavor of peppers, and it really comes through in her srirachas. But once again, chili peppers. Then we have Ravenswood Vintners Blend Petite Syrah, distilled vinegar, garlic, sea salt, palm sugar. Now the vinegar, the garlic, and the palm sugar are organic ingredients. All right, let us go ahead and uh, show you the color on this one. I think I better do it this way. But now I have been using this a little bit. This stuff is awesome. It's incredible. Uh, just check out the, uh, the consistency of this one. You can actually see a little bit of the garlic in there, but a nice bright red color. And I think the wine, the infused uh, wines, these red wines, whether it's Zinfandel or the Pete Syrah, is really uh, kind of giving it a little bit more of a richer darker color. I can smell it from here. I just love the fresh uh, fermented. She ferments her peppers for about one, one to two weeks. So you're getting a nice fresh, um, slightly fermented uh, chili pepper aroma with garlic. Uh, there's a pretty good amount of garlic in here. And let me do a taste test for you guys. Here we go. Mm. Wow, incredible. Fresh pepper forward taste. Garlic is coming through. It's not vinegary at all. It is not salty at all. And another thing I like about her srirachas is they're not overly sweet. So she doesn't pour a bunch of uh, palm sugar in here, but it's the last ingredient. But very, very pepper forward, rich, flavorful sauce. This stuff is good on everything. Anything you want to put sriracha on, eggs, burritos, tacos, pizza, burgers, sushi, anything. But this has a real nice flavor. Now, Petite Syrah wine, I'm very familiar with that wine. It's um, it's spicy. It's kind of a, um, a black fruit forward, cherry, plum type fruits. Has some chocolate overtones to it. This is a little bit different, I feel, than the uh, than the Zinfandel, which was a little bit more, it was dark fruit, uh, dark fruit, uh, fruity uh, overtones to it kind of a little bit oaky or woody or earthy. This one seems to have a little bit more um, of a fruity flavor to me. It's spicy, but I, <clears throat> I think the wine is really, you can taste the flavors in the wine in here pretty good. But let me go ahead and put this on something. I've got a half of a uh, Korean uh, pork um, or kimchi pork uh, steamed mandu. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to lay a bunch of uh, sriracha right here, and that's how you do it. Here we go. Mm. Mm. 
Mm, fantastic. So I think the wine is really giving a lot more depth to these sriracha's with a fruitiness. You get the fresh pepper flavor, the garlic, but you get just get an added dimension of um, depth of flavor with that wine infused, giving it a little bit more of a fruity tones to it. But very, very good. If you love sriracha and you love wine, now why not put them both together and uh, get you some of this? This is awesome. Um, once again, on flavor, uh, some of the best you can get. This deserves a 10, so I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 for flavor. A very, very good. And on heat, um, 2 out of 10, a little bit of a spiciness, but kind of uh, goes away fairly quickly, but about a 2 out of 10 on my 1 to 10 scale for heat. Jojo, uh, really great job. I'm very excited for you. Great job on these sriracha's. Everybody, please check her out on Facebook at uh, Jojo Sriracha. And the website simply is lovehardinc.com. All right. Thanks, Jojo, for sending it. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.